silver medalists at the previous two world championships, Brasur and Eisler had visions of Olympic gold. They were primed to end a Russian dominance of the discipline that had accounted for the previous seven pairs gold medals. Last month, Alberville, the original program. The stage was set. The start was dazzling. Then, the pressure overwhelming. I just forgot what I was doing and I was kind of dying nervous there. When I fell, I mean, the door wasn't so far, so I thought of just going off and going home and or, or say, whoa, stop, okay? Let's erase all that and let's rewind and start it all over again. But you can't do that. It's too late. It's, you did it. Brasur and Eisler captured the bronze and an entire nation was reminded of another bitter disappointment. 1984, Sarajevo. Canadians Barbara Underhill and Paul Martini had gold medal aspirations, but a devastating fall, also in the original program, ended their hopes. Then, just a month later at the World Championships, Underhill and Martini won the gold. Now it's a month after the Olympics again, and Brasur and Eisler hope history repeats itself. They are two vastly different personalities. The 5'11 Lloyd's ability rests with his power, and he would rather play hockey than just watch it. At all of five feet, Isabel appreciates the artistry of skating. Admittedly shy, she spends time away from the ice doing quiet things, but it's her inner strength that makes the pair work. She's got to, when it comes to what we do, it's very difficult, and I don't think we can get a lot of girls to do it. The only thing is that she's got to know all the details before she tries it. She can't just say, okay, let's go do it, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's got to be all written down. It's got, this is what's going to happen. This is where my hand's going to go. This is where it's going to go. And then she'll try it. Me, on the other hand, I just like to go and do it. You know, if, if it works, it works. Well, if it doesn't, I fall. Well, I'll get up and try to get it. <laughs> yeah, great, it. but I'm like 12 feet up there. If it doesn't work and you fall, I'm dead. But Lloyd's self-confidence and sense of control helps assure Isabel he wouldn't let that happen. Popular with Montreal's children, they take time to meet with school groups and are currently putting together a charity ice show featuring Brian Orser and the couple they would emulate, world champions Underhill and Martini. Brasur and Eisler are better known to friends as Fred and Herbie, and in their innovative exhibition program last year, she lived up to her alias. I know when he's mad and he says, Isabel, I have to stand up right, because I know he's mad. And when it's Freddy, I mean, that means he's really nice, he's in a good mood. Fred, it's normal mood. So when it's Isabel, I can't laugh. <laughs> Isabel and Lloyd are hoping that Fred and Herbie skate here in Oakland and that they laugh all the way to the top of the medal podium. It's nice to go in at the World Championships and, and do well if you haven't done well before. Um, not necessarily redeem a performance, but just for self-satisfaction and, and self-pride, you want to go and say, yeah, see, I can do it. And, uh, you know, so don't come down on me so hard all the time. Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler, first to skate when we return. The pair's original program, first to skate, Lloyd Eisler and Isabel Brasseur, they can look for inspiration from their countrymen, Martini and Underhill. Remember, eight years ago, that pair was the last to beat the Soviets in the pairs in the world. And they had had a disastrous Olympics and rallied in Ottawa. And this big crowd spiced with a couple of thousand who have migrated south from Canada to cheer for Brasseur and Eisler and the rest of the Canadians will be pulling for them. You'll hear plenty of support. Their third element, 
They're off to a good start. This is an excellent vehicle for them. It emphasizes their strength, speed, power, and incredible lifts. Isabel Brasor and Lloyd Eisler. And they're happy with that. This could not have been a better performance. What a way to open the competition. Not easy to draw that first position to skate, but they've delivered with a very high standard. And what they're known for is their incredible lift. They open with the split double twist, the highest I have ever seen in my life. Lloyd threw her at least six feet in the air. Watch how he has time to slap his hands against his side, then catch her, set her down beautifully. Unbelievable. In the side-by-side -side double axles, this is where she fell at the Olympics, but no problem here. These are perfect. <laughs> And now the marks first for the required elements, all five sevens. The British judge saw it as five eight. And the reason these marks aren't any higher is because they are the first couple to skate. There are 19 more to go. The judges have to leave room, but this is a very high standard. Watching with interest, the Russian gold medalist from the Olympics and last year's world's Mishka Tunic yeah. and Dmitry Evan now for presentation, all five eights. The British judge, the only five sevens. And those are very good marks, and they're obviously happy with this performance. It's going to give them a lot of confidence for the long program. No question, they have the heartbeats accelerated, and when we return, it'll be the colorful U.S. champions, Kyler Urbanski and Rocky Marvel. Get around. I go to Brad's.